Today, we're diving into an incredibly powerful and transformative topic, how to forgive the unforgivable. Forgiveness is very challenging and it's a deeply personal journey, especially for those of us that have experienced deep pain. It's very hard for us to forgive those people that have hurt us the most. And as women, especially women over 40, or you may be younger, we've experienced our fair share of life's ups and downs. And sometimes the pain we carry can feel impossible to let go of. I remember in my life when I struggled to forgive someone who caused me deep physical and emotional pain, if you get my drift. And for me to forgive that person when I was younger, it felt like an impossible task. No way, no how was I willing to forgive that person for what he had did. But through my journey, over time, I discovered that Forgiveness wasn't about excusing the behavior. It wasn't about giving him a pass to just get away with what he had done. It was more about freeing myself from the chains and bounds of resentment. And so today, I just want to share with you some proven tips that have helped me throughout my journey. And I know they'll help you on how to forgive the unforgivable and the incredible benefits that forgiveness can bring into your life. Tip one, acknowledge your feelings. Without doing this, you can't move on with forgiveness because in order to forgive someone or something, we have to feel the feelings, right? So the first step on this journey of forgiveness is acknowledging your feeling. It's, it's important to do so. It's vital to recognize and validate your own emotions without judgment. And this simply means to allow yourself to feel the hurt, to really feel it in your heart and in your mind, in your body and in your soul. So you have to give yourself permission to feel the hurt, the anger, and the sadness that this pain has caused you. Feeling your feelings is crucial because bottling up these emotions can lead to even more pain in the future. And that's counterproductive toward your forgiveness journey, right? And so it's important to allow yourself to feel your feelings and to acknowledge them. Tip two, understand the other person's perspective. I know, hold on a minute before you scream at me. What's the matter with you? I am just telling you proven tips that I know work. And one of these proven tips is to understand the other person's perspective. Now, this does not mean you are condoning their actions. You are giving them a free pass to do whatever they want whenever they want. It's not about that. It's about empathy because empathy can explain, not excuse, empathy can explain why they may have acted the way they did. Now, you're not giving them an excuse either because we're all human beings. We know right from wrong. And if we're honest yet again, some people are just plain evil. But for the most part, if we allow ourselves to see the other person's perspective without excusing their behavior, we can begin to understand the root cause of their behavior because there's always a root cause to any problem. And in order to solve that problem, we have to get to the root, right? So there's a root cause to their behavior. Now, it's not your responsibility to find it, to figure it out, to fix it. But just knowing that there is a root cause to the behavior can be a stepping stone toward forgiveness and healing. 
That's why it's so important. It's not to benefit the person that hurt you, it's to benefit you. Because once you apply all of these steps, you will understand why understanding the other person's perspective is so critical toward healing. Tip three, release the grudge. And I know this is easier said than done. I have been there. I have done that countless times because it does take practice. It's not easy, but holding on to grudges is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with that terminology or that saying. Holding on to a grudge is like drinking poison and sitting around watching and waiting for the other person to die. It's senseless, right? So techniques such as journaling and meditation and talking to a trusted friend or someone, anybody that you trust can help you release the resentment you're holding on to because the resentment that you're holding on to in here and up here is not hurting the other person it's hurting you and these practices can provide a safe space for you to process your feelings and begin letting go and personally i believe that we hold on to resentment because we feel like if we let the resentment go if we forgive the individual that hurt us, we're excusing their behavior. They're getting away with hurting us. They haven't been punished. They haven't got their karma. But we have to understand that that's not our responsibility. That's not our job. Most of the times, people have received their karma. I promise you, I have witnessed it countless times. They've received their karma, you just didn't see it. And you may not have heard about it. And it's not that you're wishing negativity in their lives or you want bad things to happen to them. At least I hope not. But those thoughts run through our head too when we're facing deep pain and when we're holding grudges. But for the most part, good people like yourself don't want to bring harm to anyone else. So if you haven't saw that person, if you haven't heard about them receiving their karma, just release the grudge and leave it up to the almighty. Tip four, set boundaries. Now, while forgiveness is about letting go, setting boundaries is about protecting yourself and it's very important. Forgiveness does not mean reconciliation or to continue a relationship or a friendship. I often say that forgiveness is not an invitation to the party. It's not saying, oh, well, I forgive you, so now we can be friends again. Let's go hang out. Let's do this or that. No, mm -mm. that's not what setting boundaries or forgiving the person or people that hurt you is about. Setting clear boundaries is solely about ensuring your emotional well-being stays intact while you're on your healing journey. Because as adults, we are responsible for our own emotional well-being, no one else. It's our responsibility. So when you set boundaries, that strength, you are ensuring that your emotional well-being stays firm on your healing journey. Tip five, seek professional help if needed. There is no judgment. No one is going to judge you. Don't judge yourself. That's why professional counselors and therapists are out there for you and me and others that need them. So if you're struggling to overcome the hurt, don't you dare hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors are trained to guide you through the healing process, and they can provide valuable tools and strategies that you never knew existed to aid you on your journey toward forgiveness. So forgiveness, like I said, is very important. And I often like to say that forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself. Because once you learn to forgive, so many things are going to feel better. You're going to feel better because forgiveness offers numerous benefits 
that extend beyond just emotional relief. It's proven to improve your mental health and lower stress levels and even improve your physical health. That's why it's so important to practice the art of forgiveness. No, it is not simple. It's not easy. It is easier said than done. I'm just being 100% honest with you. But like every great thing, with practice, it is more than doable. So letting go of anger and resentment can definitely free up space for more joy and peace and positive relationships. And I also want you to remember that forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself, but it's also an art of reclaiming your power and allowing yourself to move forward without the burdens of past hurts. That reminds me of a quote that a wise man said, forgiveness is not an occasional act. It's a permanent attitude. Forgiveness is not an occasional act. It's a permanent attitude. So my friends, thank you yet again so, so very much for watching. And I hope that these tips inspire you to open your heart to forgiveness, to embark on your own journey of forgiveness. It's not easy, but you're strong and I know it's something that you can do. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on forgiveness and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care and be kind to yourself. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.